Lord of Spirits, I worship you, Holy Ghost. I'm submitting myself to his lordship, and there's nothing better than that. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight, I'm going to be speaking about the Holy Ghost. Did that surprise you? The Holy Ghost, He is God. He is in the earth today. You understand that? Yes. Well, in speaking about the Holy Ghost, I'm going to talk about a name that He has. One of the names of the Holy Ghost that a lot of people have never heard before and certainly have not embraced. Are you ready for this? Yes. Most are not familiar with this name and therefore they can't know Him. Say, know Him. Know him in this way if they don't know that that's who he is they can't know him in that way does that make sense yes and if if you can hear this it's good news see a lot of people would think it's bad news that they're learning something that they've never known before maybe they've lived their whole life not knowing this mm -hmm. and that seemed like bad news but it's good news well this good news is made even harder if you're religiously indoctrinated it's difficult to hear but I'm gonna help you with it if you hold on to your doctrine so tightly you won't be able to hear it does that make sense Yes. you know anybody like that Haggai chapter 2 verse 6 for thus says the Lord of hosts who Lord of the Lord of hosts yet once it is a little while and I will shake the heaven and the earth and the sea and the dry land I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory saith the Lord of hosts the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former saith the Lord of hosts who's saying this the Lord the Lord of hosts you think he wants you to know that this is who say he's he's using this name to say this yes. are you getting it mm -hmm. and in this place will I give peace in this place will I give peace saith the Lord of hosts mm -hmm. now just in those few short verses I read that's five times he said saith the Lord of hosts mm -hmm. say Lord of hosts Lord of hosts now the Hebrew for host literally means armies but it means a large group of something so what hosts specifically are we talking about what hosts because he's the Lord of the hosts right yes. and he's calling himself that uh -huh. and it must mean something Psalms 103 verse 20 bless the Lord you his what angels you his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments mm -hmm. hearkening unto the voice of his word 21 bless ye the Lord all ye his hosts so he's specifically ascribing hosts to angels mm -hmm. are you here this is gonna matter bless ye the Lord all his hosts you ministers of his that do his pleasure so these angels hearken to his word they do his pleasure they're called his hosts he's the Lord of hosts he's the Lord of angels yes. are you here mm -hmm. does this make sense is that too fast well how many of you know that angels are spirit beings say spirit beings, spirit beings. they are spirits he is the Lord of these spirits and their spirits lowercase in the English lowercase right yes. he is the spirit that's Lord over these spirits he's the spirit uppercase mm -hmm. right yep. 
uppercase s he is the lord of these spirits he's the number one spirit yes. say he's the number one spirit he's the number one spirit this is not difficult mm -hmm. he's the holy spirit mm -hmm. he's the number one spirit mm -hmm. they are lower spirits he lords over them mm -hmm. he's the lord of these spirits mm -hmm. he's the one spirit yes. with whom we have to do is the holy spirit he's the supreme spirit he is the greatest spirit these are things that lord of spirits lord of hosts means yes. i'm going to use the term lord of spirits because i'm hoping that you understand this mm -hmm. he's the lord of spirits mm -hmm. and those spirits happen to be angels how many of you know some angels are pretty good and pretty cool yes. pretty strong pretty powerful mm -hmm. He's better than that he's on a different level than that because he's god and they're created angel beings mm -hmm. right yep. he's the lord of spirits he's the supreme spirit he's the master spirit mm -hmm. he is the lord of spirits yes. do you get it yes. he is the best he's he's the greatest he's the most he is the supreme he is the master he is the biggest he is the best he's the far he's all of the things mm -hmm. he's the holy spirit yeah. you still in psalms there mm -hmm. so verse 19 says the lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all mm -hmm. and then he goes on talking about him being the lord of spirits yeah. his hosts it's how he rules over all is with his hosts mm -hmm. are you here yeah. So he the Holy Ghost I hope I got you here he the Holy Ghost is the Lord of Spirits mm -hmm. yes. right yes. he's the Lord of angels but not just angels he's Lord of angels plus say he's Lord of angels plus he's Lord of angels plus. plus what you say well let's look at it he's lord of the angels plus those who submit themselves to his lordship those who submit themselves to his lordship you suppose angels submit themselves to his lordship mm -hmm. yeah that's how he's the lord mm -hmm. of angels they've submitted themselves to him mm -hmm. he's the he's the lord of angels plus all of those other ones spirits mm -hmm. say I'm a, spirit, I'm a spirit that submit themselves to his lordship yes. right mm -hmm. those who worship and serve him the Bible says in Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve if you worship him and only serve him you're submitting yourself to him and his lordship then he is the Lord of spirits to you strange words to most of the body of Christ strange words to most of Christians mm -hmm. they don't know him as the Lord of spirits they can't know him as the Lord of spirits because they don't submit themselves to him John chapter 6 verse 29 Jesus answered and said unto them this is the work of God that you believe say believe believe, believe on him whom he hath sent in Jesus's dispensation before he left and sent the Holy Ghost this was talking about Jesus and that's whatever how everybody reads it of course you got to believe on Jesus but in our dispensation who is the one whom he Jesus hath sent the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. he's God in the earth today yes. we're believing on him whom he hath sent Amen. are you here what are we believing on him in that he is God yes. that he is the Lord of spirits mm -hmm. that he is the Lord of our spirit yes. are you here we believe on him whom he hath sent who is he whom he jesus hath sent the holy ghost 
the Lord of Spirits who is God in the earth today ah uh, but Jesus is my Lord okay okay even so are you going to believe on him whom he your Lord Jesus have sent mm -hmm. because if you're not then he's not much of a Lord to you is he your Lord Jesus went away is seated at the right hand of God and sent the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today to be with you yes. so the question is are you going to believe on him who he has sent yes I'm one of those I believe on him whom he hath sent where is Jesus he, he's at the right hand of the Father he's in heaven and shall return yes. say shall return. shall return well many a great man of God has had Jesus appear to them I'm one of them he's appeared to me it doesn't mean that he has returned or that he is in the earth it means he appeared to them say appeared, appeared but this his appearing say his appearing, his appearing to them is an operation of the Lord of Spirits is an operation of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. doesn't change the fact that Jesus is still in heaven doesn't change the fact that he shall return doesn't change the fact that he is not here in the earth today mm -hmm. what it should shout loud and clear is that this is a manifestation of the Holy Ghost and his will that you have an appearance of Jesus yes. seems pretty straightforward to me Acts chapter 7 verse 55 but he Stephen being full of the Holy Ghost full of who the Holy, the Holy Ghost looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God who was with Stephen the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost he had a vision and saw into heaven he saw the glory of God mm -hmm. and Jesus standing there mm -hmm. get it straight it's not difficult anyone who is having a legitimate vision of Jesus it is an operation of the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today yes. and it was his will that you had this vision first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he wills who's God in the earth today the Holy Ghost who is the Lord of Spirits in the earth today the Holy Ghost anything that of these these visions or the gifts or any of that stuff it is a work of him all these worketh that one mm -hmm. and self same spirit he the Holy Ghost the Lord of Spirits is doing as he wills as he wills say as he wills. as he wills he is the Lord of Spirits the Lord of Angels is he the Lord of your spirit yes. if he's the Lord of your spirit it is because you've submitted yourself to his Lordship which most of the body of Christ has not if he is Lord the Lord of your spirits thou shalt worship the Lord your God and him only serve mm -hmm. if you don't worship him he's not really your Lord if you don't worship him he's not really your Lord he's not the Lord of your spirit is this fun yet mm -hmm. it's a choice by the way he told me this today that he likes this name he likes this name Lord of Spirits mm -hmm. I'll tell you why he likes this name the word Lord means that certain beings are submitting themselves to him mm -hmm. freely or not they're submitting himself themselves to him yes. right mm -hmm. and if you use that name you are acknowledging mm -hmm. that first of all you're a spirit being created by him and that you're submitting yourself to him you're calling him Lord is this too difficult to understand 
he is the Lord of my spirit when I call him Lord of spirits I worship you Holy Ghost I'm submitting myself to his lordship and there's nothing better than that right. in the earth he is God mm -hmm. you're submitting yourself to him acknowledging that he's superior to you and over you and can do as he wills right yeah. wouldn't you say a Lord is someone who could do as they will were you here when I read the scripture that says he does as he wills who the Holy Ghost one spirit does all of these things as he wills he's God in the earth today as he wills as he wills you're submitting to him so he can do to you as he wills it is a name of submission when you use Lord of Spirits for the Holy Ghost it is a name of submission and it's a name of his supremacy over you and everything you have is this good news mm -hmm. oh it's good news so so good news and such good news that a religious indoctrinated Christian can't have or can't hear they wouldn't go here mm -hmm. they didn't receive the one whom he has sent mm -hmm. this is not revealed to everyone it's hidden behind a veil I can show you how to get behind that veil but it's going to require something out of you you're gonna to have to worship him and use the words I worship you Holy Ghost maybe even I worship you Lord of Spirits and that veil will begin to be drawn back and you'll see him for who he really is second Corinthians chapter 3 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is liberty this is behind a veil of knowing who the Lord God is in the earth today yes. Holy Ghost worshipers know this they worship him as God if you'd worship him as God you would know him it's life-changing Haggai chapter 2 verse 5 for my spirit remains among you fear you not for thus says the Lord of hosts my spirit remains among you thus says the Lord of hosts my spirit remains among you thus says the Lord of hosts the spirit that remains among us is the Holy Ghost he is the Lord of hosts yet once it is a little while I will shake all nations I will fill this house with glory says the Lord of hosts the silver is mine the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former saith the Lord of hosts mm -hmm. and in this place say in this place, in this place he said Lord of hosts over and over and over and then he says in this place of obviously him being Lord of hosts mm -hmm. right it's a place I will give peace saith the Lord of hosts do you know your place a lot of people don't know their place he's the Lord of hosts if he's the Lord of hosts you ain't you should be submitting yourself to him and his lordship yeah. now the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. and where the spirit is Lord where you've submitted yourself to him as Lord yeah. there's a liberty mm -hmm. meaning there's a room that you enter in there's a place say there's a, there's a place there's a place you enter into that you can't if you're on the other side of that veil now listen the spirit Lord says to you 
you don't need me to do anything for you in this place but speak the word only and it shall come to pass but you need to do something number one submit yourself unto him as the Lord of hosts yes. who is the Lord of hosts holy ghost. the Holy Ghost submit yourself to him as the Lord of hosts you do that by worshiping him worship him and speak his word and it shall come to pass what shall come to pass remember he said he's ruler over all of it he's the Lord of hosts all the angels do you remember this yes. Psalms 103 and verse 20 bless the Lord you his angels remember his angels are his host he's the Lord of them bless the Lord you his angels that excel in strength that do say that do that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word Amen. when you submit to his lordship by worshiping him the Lord of Spirits and you give voice to his word the angels hearken and the angels do he doesn't have to do anything for you you simply have to worship him acknowledge him that he's the Lord of Spirits God in the earth today and the angels will hearken unto the things you say thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people that they have heard the word this evening and that their life has changed from this day forward they worship you Holy Ghost as the Lord of Spirits they acknowledge you as the supreme being in the earth and we commit to speaking your words forth into the earth until they come to pass say i will speak, I will speak his, words his words into the earth, into the earth until, until they, come they come to pass if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. i call you the lord of spirits you, lord of spirits. you have dominion have over all the angels God. you have said the silver is mine the gold is mine and I say the silver is mine the gold is mine in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right